Good day, welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Michael Plom and I'm a technical support consultant at Procon. Today I'm going to discuss a scenario where the internal nodes of the main beams in a structural girder system cannot be selected in combined stress. This video will explain the beam sectional error condition in combined stress and will demonstrate how to adjust the beam sectional error in frame in order to be able to select the internal nodes of the main beam in a structural girder system. Notice the modeled structural girder system, where according to the section database, the area of the timber section is larger than that of the steel section. In this model, the relevant area loads have been collapsed into equivalent line loads and have been added to the timber and steel beams. The self weight for the steel and timber beams has been added to the dead load case so that it automatically gets calculated by frame. A linear analysis is run and the resulting bending moments, shear forces and elastic deflections are evaluated. The maximum overall elastic deflection as well as the maximum bending moments and shear forces for an internal steel and timber beam are all noted. Once analyzed, the model is exported to combined stress for design purposes. The steel beam group is selected so that it can be designed. Notice how the internal nodes of the steel beams do not select. Because the steel section has a smaller cross section than that of the timber section, Combined stress will not allow the user to select the internal nodes of the steel beam. Because combined stress uses the sectional area comparison method, we will now manually adjust the area of the steel section to be larger than that of the timber section. This adjustment will have no impact on the previously noted deflections, bending moments and shear forces of the original frame model. It will also allow the user to select the internal nodes along the length of the steel beam in combined stress. Manually adjust the steel sectional area to be larger than that of the timber sectional area. Calculate the self weight of the timber and steel sections and add it to the timber and steel beams as line loads. Run a linear analysis and compare the overall deflection and maximum bending moments and shear forces of the previously selected steel and timber beams of the original frame model. Once analyzed, export the model to combine stress using the design link.
Because the area of the steel section is larger than that of the timber section, combined stress will now allow the user to select the internal nodes along the length of the steel beam. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications.